to all understanding. My Christians go through many great trials and troubles, and uh, people don't understand uh, how that we can go through those great trials of troubles and tribulation and all that, and still be thankful to our Lord, and still praise and glorify our wonderful Lord. Though the way is difficult, though the way is hard, yet we can still rejoice and praise and glorify our wonderful Lord. I'm reminded that it was Paul and Silas in jail, praising and glorifying the Lord for all that he had done for them. And so, um, I thank the Lord for uh, the peace of God that passeth all understanding. Now, when we're here, while we're on this subject of the peace of God, uh, dear lost sinner friend, have you made peace with God? Have you made peace with God so then you can have the peace of God? If you uh, haven't made peace with God, you need to do that today. Oh, dear lost sinner friend, come to Jesus Christ. Uh, take Him as your personal Savior. Call upon Him today to uh, save your soul and forgive you of your sins and give to you the gift of the eternal life. And my, make peace with God. Make peace with God so that you'll be given the peace of God as you walk along life's way. And so the peace of God, it ought to be with thanksgiving. And then we find, fifthly, that the presence of God ought to be with thanksgiving. Thanking the Lord for His very presence with us. He lives, and He lives within us. Glory to God. Notice verse 8. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of a good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do, and the God of peace shall be with you. Notice the Apostle Paul gives the instructions about uh, certainly what we're to think on and what we're to meditate on. And then he says there in verse 9, what uh, the, you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, do, and the God of peace shall be with you. Oh, the presence of God. Uh, the presence of God. Uh, we are to thank the Lord for His presence. And my, uh, how good and how wonderful that the Lord, He lives and He lives within us. And my, uh, we are to be thankful for uh, His presence. He said He'd never leave nor forsake us, but He'd always be there. Glory to God. You know, when I think about uh, Thanksgiving, I think about these things that uh, when we do them, uh, when we praise the Lord, when we uh, think, uh, when we uh, consider the promise of the Lord's coming and all these other promises, uh, boy, we are to be thankful. Uh, when we come to the Lord in prayer, we are to be thankful. Uh, we are to be thankful for the peace of God that passes all understanding. Thanking the Lord for His presence, always there. Uh, never leave nor forsake us. Amen and amen. I think of this when I think of Thanksgiving and this portion of Scripture. I think of Luke chapter 17 and verses 11 through 19 where you find the ten lepers. You remember there were ten lepers? And, of course, uh, we find uh, uh, that uh, the Lord healed them and uh, told them to go to and show themselves to the priest. Uh, they went on their way. How many came back to thank the Lord? Only one. Only one out of ten came back to give thanks and praise unto the Lord. Oh, my, let us be that one always giving thanks unto our blessed Lord. May every day be a day of thanksgiving unto our blessed Lord. May every day be a day of you and I, dear Christian, giving uh, thanks unto our wonderful Lord for all of His goodness, for all of His blessings. Amen. And we'd, by, we'd always be like that one leper, uh, thanking Him for all that He's done for us. The other nine got caught up in the miracle, got caught up in uh, what the Lord had done for them, and uh, boy, they forgot of who did it. They forgot the one that performed the miracle. And uh, uh, it should have been all ten of them going back and thanking the Lord and praising Him, giving Him thanks for the great miracle that He had done uh, for them. But, but sad to say, nine of them went their way, 
uh, got caught up in the moment uh, of what happened to him and failed to give praise, failed to give thanksgiving unto our blessed Lord. Uh, only one uh, gave the thanks and praise unto our Lord. Again, may we always be in that one, giving thanks and praise unto our blessed Lord. Well, I trust that will be a way, the way it will be, dear Christian, being thankful unto our blessed Lord, giving thanks for all things, always. And then on the other hand, you that don't know Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, why don't you come to Christ today, call upon Him, and let Him save your soul, forgive you of your sins, wash you in His precious blood, and give to you the gift of eternal life. It's your greatest decision uh, that confronts you. It's your, the greatest decision you will ever make. Well, our time is just about gone. We love you folks on the next broadcast. May the Lord richly bless you. You've been listening to the Victory Hour. It's been a joy to